The shark sw swims like it's talking about Mardi Gras. It, shark swims like it's been there. Shark swims like it's just drunk. <laughs> it just always flicked it and on its side. Like the shark never swims uh -huh. in a straight line. The shark has always got that lean. <laughs> 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 No, that's oh. too much. <laughs> man, these buttons ain't working, man. Uh, man uh, you, you work the controls then. <laughs> and look so bad, they just say the hell with it, man. Sometimes they just, they just let the shark just sit there and just float in some scenes. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man>. uh, <laughs> that looks like a dead fish in the water. It sure does. does. It looks like when your fish died in, in, yeah. in, in the, in the fishbowl. He's yeah. just about to turn upside down. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I've, I've been announcing it, but I'm gonna announce it again, that we have sold out all of our highest tier tickets for Double Toasted Live in Brooklyn, New York. That's gonna be April 1st. You know, it's funny, some people say it was a fish that changed cinema, man. Mm, Jaws. That's right. Jaws, that big gray white, end up being the great white hope for Hollywood, man. <laughs> You know, it's uh, <laughs> but it was uh, nice. but yeah, yeah. This is the movie that a lot of people say. You know, a lot of people talk about Star Wars, but they say, hey man, don't 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 mm -hmm. forget that fish though. No. This is Universal's extraordinary motion picture version. Oh, that movie made people scared to put their hand in the sink. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A lot of people just went weeks being dirty. They didn't want to get in no water <laughs> right. at all. They want to take a bath. They want to take a shower. <laughs> I love that clip that Roy Schneider just doesn't give a. F yeah, he's over he's it. He's just tired of it. Just tired of it. Go ahead, though. Go ahead. Yeah, but Jaws is a classic. 1977, I believe. Mm, was it? 70, 1975. Uh, yeah, it was almost 1975. Yeah, I thought it was earlier. Because Star was Wars, I think, is 77. Yeah. So Star Wars 77. If we have, so if we're really thinking about it. Star Wars, yeah, blew everybody away, but that shark really was, was the one that created the blockbuster. That's right. Also, now if you know Jaws, you know, it's a New England town. Everything's pretty peaceful. Everything's pretty cool. It's a small place. You know, everybody minds their own business. And then a shark shows up and just starts tearing that town apart, man. Just, you know, out of nowhere. And that town is stupid anyway. Yeah. You know, they, you know what? My man told me to stay out the water. I need to teach him a lesson. They'll learn to listen next time. <laughs> yeah, I bet they will. I bet they stay there the water this time. When you think about it, I'm actually the hero of the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I've never seen a movie just about a fish scare people just with the soundtrack. You go up behind people, doo -doo. right? Quick <laughs> complain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick complain. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be on dry land. You won't be anywhere near water. You talking about doo -doo. people? Where that shark is? Land shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> is he here? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, people. It was a uh, such a phenomenon. It even had board games and, mm -hmm. and oh yeah, uh, and and toys. Yep. I remember when Jaws came out. It was crazy because they had a whole bunch of Jaws toys. It was a bunch of just a bunch of rub, rubber sharks, and they it was just like in the in the in TV shows and movies where they have in the center of the store this stand where they have all the toys set up, and people went in and bought most of those sharks up in an hour, in about a, you know a couple of hours or something. Man. Well, I mean, it was such a phenomenon. Sharks were just the thing to where there were two Saturday morning cartoon series based on sharks. Sure, were. at the same time. Yep. You know, I say they should they should have quit, but after this movie, because you know, spoiler alert, um, they killed the shark. All right, I mean, sorry if you haven't seen the movie that's over forty years old, but you know, hey, it's not a spoiler. But it's no, when no, it came out no, yeah. no, so. no, they 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 killed the shark, but the reason why they couldn't stop is because, well, that shark had a lot of friends. <laughs> shark had a lot of family. <laughs> Homies, yeah, a lot had of a crew, had, had yeah. a lot of homies, and had a lot of crew. And they said, "Listen, you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us." And that's where you get the tagline for this movie. Now it's personal. And Jaws: The Revenge. They killed Sean. I knew with absolute certainty it had come for him. I knew that. So, kind of looks like Jaws, right? 
Yeah. I mean, what could go wrong? A lot of things, people. <laughs> I don't. I mean, for one, it, you know, I don't want to. Listen, it's best that we just kind of reveal things as they go along instead of telling the, the 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 whole plot. Now, if you do know the plot of this, or you have seen the movie, whatever, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, I really have to say that this is one of the most ridiculous movies. I I I, I say this about a lot of things, but. As far as a Hollywood blockbuster goes, where they are so desperate to like keep the property out there, this has got to be the most, the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I mean, I, 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 the, 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 the lack, the, 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 the lack of logic that went into this, are just the piles of cocaine that went into this, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, the, there's a lack of logic in the premise. Mostly the movie is just kind of like, okay, whatever. That last 30 minutes, holy shit. Oh, dude. yeah. That, <laughs> I, these are people who did not give a about anything except getting it out there and making money. Does it have Jaws in the title? Who gives a shit? Do whatever you want. Just put it out there. They'll see it. But this doesn't mean I don't care. I'm high right now. I'm out of my mind, and I and, we, and I and my back is against the wall. <laughs> I'm about to be fired. Get that damn shark movie out there. Right? They, they keep asking me every day now. Now come on, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> just get this just action now. What I thought was was funny is I'm thinking, all right, when I read up on this movie, it's going to turn out that like, yeah, they got their budget slashed and they couldn't do this. And it's like, no, nah, they gave them the money. It just looks cheap. They just gave them so whatever they wanted, man. I'm sure half that money went up somebody's nose. It must have. Because it, it ain't on the screen. Our anus or however they do cocaine. But, you know, I know. So they've been killing sharks for, for, I guess, three movies now. We're on the fourth one. And with this movie right here, you got one shark who said, enough! <laughs> Tired of this shit! <laughs> Something has to be done <laughs> for familia, <laughs> me familia, la raza. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of this. I just love it. He's like the problem this whole time has been that family. Yes, <laughs> I, I just yes, you know. <laughs> yes. People, the shark even says, "Y'all think I would? No, I'm not the villain. They are. I'm the hero of this shit. It just took y'all four." to realize it but that's gonna change today because today i'm about to put in some work and this is gonna end now it, that that shark said you know what our people will continue our kind will continue to die as long as that family still exists uh -huh. i must destroy this lineage right here but we'll get into that so let's see we how we start this this has one of the other reasons why this movie is so popular uh, is 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 made fun of so hard is because it has Michael Caine. This is one of the this is one of the movies where people finally looked at Michael Caine and said, "Damn, you'll do anything." Yep. You know this this he said you know I, this is uh for <laughs> Michael Caine this has not been his first killer animal movie. You know he's he's done at least one before. The Swarm. By an enemy far more lethal than any human force. Starring yeah, oh, starring Michael Caine. Cocaine, Catherine. Oh, what did I say? Cocaine? Yeah, Michael, <laughs> Michael, Michael Cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah. Michael needs some cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. He needs a house. <laughs> yeah, Mike Cocaine. <laughs> yeah, that's the movie about killer bees, y'all. The Swarm. But the 70s, they were crazy about killing animal movies, yeah. man. Uh, but those bees ain't got nothing on this shark right here. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, when this movie starts out, it starts out kind of kinky, actually. Uh, you, it sounds like two people uh, getting really turned on while cooking fish and kind of just. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to man. I don't know the last time you seen this movie, but it's it sounds like this this fish is making them really horny and they can't keep their hands off each other. Stop that! Stop what? I'm not doing anything. I can't help myself. Boy, that fish got his dick hard. Yeah, I know, he showed it. <laughs> and, and that product placement got his dick hard, yeah, too. Yeah. Like, they, boy, <laughs> they, that ketchup couldn't be right more than that screen. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. That fish got him horny as hell, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, slapping his shit. Yeah, that macro guy, he was feeling, feeling a little something right there. Playing that grab ass. And, uh, and I was like, damn, who's this fine ass girl he's talking to? Oh, mom! Mom! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, no one is no one is trying to kill y'all. <laughs> what kind of thing? 
What kind of freaky shit is going on here? I mean, <laughs> stop. I can't help myself. I can't, I can't then, help myself. And then you hear that. And then yeah. slap it like, like slap it in the ass or yeah. whatever. <laughs> you heard that, right? I did. <laughs> yeah, like, like, right, you better like, stop, boy. Here, cooking this fish butt naked in here. <laughs> Get my mom. Then turn around, that's like, oh shit. This chick must be fine as hell. Oh, mom. Ooh. Tomorrow night. We're going with Tiffany to buy a Christmas tree. Now, mom here is if you if you're a fan of cinema or if you you've seen Jaws and you're a fan of that movie, and you should be. It's a great film. Uh, that character is Ellen Brody, played by Lorraine Gary, who played uh, 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 what's his name's uh, Roy Scheider. Roy Scheider. What, what was his what Scheider? Was his name? Roy Scheider. What was his name in the first? Uh, the first movie, I was, Brody. Well, I know his last Brody. name was Brody. It was like Martin Brody or something. But that was his oh, I wife. Think, I think that's right. I think Martin Brody was Roy Scheider's name. Yeah. His character's name in the movie. That was his wife in the movie. So now yeah. it's years later, and you saw one kid in the first movie. Now she has a couple of boys. They're all grown up, and that's her talking to her son, Sean. Sean Brody, and Sean immediately. Oh, and by the way, there you go. There's Roy Scheider. Mm-hmm. And Alan Gary right there, back when they were in the first Jaws. As I said, they're all grown up. Sean Brody is all grown up now. And gets on my goddamn nerves. Uh, <laughs> boy, howdy. I, 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 boy, I, I got to tell you, man, Sean, um, Sean immediately, the first word out his mouth, he got on my nerves, man. His voice... <sighs> I hate to pick on this guy, but I mean, first of all, his voice is just extremely annoying. No way, a big one. Ow, shit. Yeah, it adds flavor. He's an annoying person, oh, bleed, bleed, bleeding all over the salad and all over the food and everything. It's, yeah, it's flavor. So she's like, is it hurt now? Ah! <laughs> I told you not to get in the kitchen anyway. <laughs> I can't help it. But, it, you know, it's not bad enough that his voice is annoying. With that annoying voice, Sean won't shut up. Oh, Come on, let me talk to you. Your grandmother is a slave driver. Tell her to be nice to me. Yeah. Hey, ask the big. Will you shut? I'm trying to have a conversation. Yeah. Would you <laughs> go cook that goddamn fish over there? We're trying to have sex yeah, with me. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, yeah, yeah. But Sean's a deputy over in Amity, man. He's a deputy. I can't yeah. believe that. Yeah. yeah. You move there, he's a deputy. First thing you do is just start buying firearms. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. You can't do nothing for me. And they give him the shit jobs. Everybody, you could tell everybody just leaves the office, you know, just they don't want to be around him and they just leave. <laughs> they just leave all the shitty things for him to do. Hell no. I'm talking yeah. like that. Yeah. So he, you know, the thing is, is like, as you see in uh, thrillers and in horror movies, you know, you know, Sean's already dead because Sean was just about to go home. Oh shit! He was just—he was—he was just about to go home. He was all about to go lay it down to the to the fiance, and they get a call. And there's a call about uh, dock piling. Dock piling is where there's some debris that's blocking the dock right there, and they need somebody to go and fix it. All that. No, I like the way they have Roy Scheider back there, who's always there to remind you. Right. Y'all know there's some bullshit, right? But look at him. He's looking like, can you believe this shit? He's, like, he's looking like, I told them I don't want to be in this movie. I'd be goddamn they can find a way to put me here. No, that, that's, that's, a, that's a big <laughs> him. It really Cause, is. Because they tried to get him. He said, Satan himself could not get me in that movie. Yeah. And they were like, okay, uh, well, okay well, we got well, so yeah, they call right. me Satan, because yeah. you're going to get in here one yeah. way or another. Good thing the devil gave us this picture, right? <laughs> Which is clearly a headshot. Oh, yeah. And it's so it's so bad. It's like, it's like he would just slap a uniform on a headshot. Yeah. It's like, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no sheriff pose like that in the picture. It should do not right. <laughs> right. Maybe it'll just keep on drifting till it goes away. It's stuck on a channel marker. Good night, Polly. Oh, he don't want to run his mouth now. Yeah, right, now he right, don't right, want right. to talk. <laughs> she's like, oh, you got nothing to say now. She ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> no, she, she yeah. made all that up just to yeah, say <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what's that they say? Yeah, 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 they gonna be there. It's gonna be there. Some wood out there. Yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> dial like, tone. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> let me talk to him. No, they hung up already. Yeah. And they just give him, and they just lying to him because they, like I said, everybody. Man, I, I, I bet you, I bet you, all the the other the deputies and the sheriff they're at home chilling right now. Only deputy shine out here. They get doing dumb shit. Cause they, they lied to him. They say, cause he's like, well, how come somebody else can't do it? And she Polly just make up something. I, I, I don't know. Postcard's busy and has to be cleared before the fishermen come back. Where's Lenny? Dr. Ben Masters' place. 
cow chipping. She made that shit up. I know. Ain't nobody cow chipping. Ain't no cows in, in Amity. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's in New England. Ain't no cows. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where's Lenny? He's out there cow chipping. Yeah, but that's not a goddamn job. So what, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask you again. Where the f*** Lenny at? <laughs> well, Lenny's out there to prevent cow tipping, oh, which he's oh, not oh, doing oh, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ain't nobody out there doing nothing. <laughs> Who is Lenny? She's like, dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lying. That, that's she, not really his job. Yeah, are you going to do it or not? Shit, you want me to tell the sheriff? <laughs> again, uh, when he, so when he gets out there to move this debris in the water, we already know something's wrong because we immediately switch to killer vision. Oh, you get that killer point of view, you know it's on. Exactly. And of course, the killer is none other than <laughs> ah! 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 Charles Jr. <laughs> look at, you look know, at that it, editing. It only struck me just now that the shark was one who planted the debris in the first oh, place. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, when, but, you, when you see, I already got, man, I already thought all this shit out. I already, I already had the clips and everything saying, cause at first I was joking, but then as ridiculous as this movie is, yeah. I'm like, wait a minute. now. This is uh, uh th this is where we kick off the non-stop ridiculousness of this movie. A movie that probably never should have happened. Or we're blessed that it did. You know, it starts out with this scene of the shark attacking. I want y'all one, I want you to see what's wrong here when it first when we first uh show the shark attacking. Now the shark just got there. Right? Why is there blood already that's in the water I'm before he attacks? I'm glad I kept my mouth shut because I, I, I was just about to say, did y'all know the blood already? The oh, Kool-Aid? I don't know the Kool-Aid no more. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, that is the, the absolute <laughs> choppiest editing I've ever it's seen It's horrible. You don't even know what the hell's going on. What's happening. Yeah. But I'm looking at this. Why is there blood already in the water before he attacks? Because does he? Does the shark have gingivitis? <laughs> is, he, oh. is he have bleeding gums? Did he cut his teeth while eating debris? I maybe, don't know. Maybe somebody was hanging around before, and the shark is like, "I can't have you here warning Sean about yeah, what I'm about to do." I gotta eat you yeah. First. <laughs> Either way, you might want to explain the shit before you do that. Or, as you said, the editor just doing a shitty job because this is probably this is probably a scene that's put in here after the shark has attacked, and he just edited it to start mm -hmm. with because. I don't know why they had nothing better to work with. Are they in a rush? I don't know. Somebody said fuck. Uh, Sean, he has his arm bitten off, but it took me a little while to figure that out. Uh huh. Notice ain't no blood squirting out. No. Also notice that Sean's coat got about two sides yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden he had a tumor stick out his side. <laughs> oh, no, I no, mean, his, his arm is clearly in there where his missing arm should be. Got and I'm gonna look like he got, pants yeah. <laughs> looks like it looked like he got his arm in a sling and his yeah. coat is, is slung over. <laughs> like right now you be thinking, oh, he ruined my best coat. Yeah. Cause your arm is yeah. fine. <laughs> you can you can clear look he's you can see this, this fool's elbow. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah, you sure can yeah, too. You can. Where his where his arm is supposed to be missing. There ain't no blood squirting out nope. at all. Yeah, that is a surprising lack of blood for having his arm chewed off. Yeah, and I, and plus, I mean, this is so th this looks so fake that even he didn't know his arm was missing for a while. He's like, oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. He goes in. He's had enough playing around. Now to finish the job. Help me! Oh God! Help me! <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! oh. Now, I will give it to Sean. As annoying as Sean is, and as much as I'm, as sadly as I, as I am rooting for the shark right here, uh, I will give it to Sean. Sean, don't go down easy. Sean's a meal that, that does not wash down easily. <laughs> Shark, God damn, what do I gotta do? I'm waiting for that shark to come with a fin and cover up his mouth. And... <laughs> the band's playing. <laughs> the band hears him. They like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Talking to John. Oh, run his mouth. Keep all playing. The time. Keep playing. That just shot talking again. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sick of that. What's happening? <laughs> yeah, I don't, play wanna, louder, I don't wanna hear that shit no more. Oh. Yeah, when you say play louder. Yeah, <laughs> play louder. <laughs> so now you're thinking, man, what a crazy coincidence that Sean, whose family has a history with great white sharks, was killed by a great white shark. Man, that is wild. Or was it a coincidence? Let's look at this. Uh, 
In comes the other Brody, the other Brody brother, uh, Michael Brody, who is uh, less annoying, but also has less personality. Uh, when he comes in, you can see, you know, you call it and I'll give it to him at first. He comes in. It's like, all right, you know, you are you're mourning. You know, everybody's kind of quiet right now. I, I, I understand. Anybody home? Where's mom? So alert from reminders. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. So Michael is uh so Michael is uh, is a little dry, you know, a little not de definitely not as bubbly as Sean was. No. But I, I tell you what, I'll 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 take uh, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> Great thing instead yeah. of Sean. I'll take this any day instead of Sean. Anybody home? Cause you know Sean had came in. Boy, what a play ride, man! That was long. Hey, where's mom? <laughs> hey, did mom cook anything to eat? Well, hey, well, hey, I heard that was tired. another shark attack. Hey, you know Sean wouldn't be Sean wouldn't shut up. Mm -hmm. Sean, Sean would be running his mouth still. <laughs> but but uh, he he goes to console his mom, as he as he should. You know, Ma Mama Brody over here. And she immediately lets, lets him know, like, look, I, I know what you're thinking. Like everybody else, oh man, what a coincidence. But I'm telling you, that son of a bitch, he targeted us, man. <laughs> This was this was not a this was not an attack. It was murder. This really is the Godfather. <laughs> it really is. This was Michael. Believe me, this was premeditated. This was murder. It came for him. What? What? <laughs> it waited all this time, and it came for him. He's like, wait, what the? F he's like, <laughs> he's like, you, are we talking about karma or bad luck? Are we talking about a shark? It's like, all right, mom, let me give you a Xanax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, you could be laid out for yeah, a bit. Look, I know we have a history with sharks, but goddamn, don't tell me a shark got a big dead against us. <laughs> right, right. Sharks don't commit murder. They don't pick out a person. It picked and out it... Sean. It killed your father. Dad died from a heart attack. He died from fear. <laughs> Martin Brody, Roy Scheider died just from the fear of thinking about sharks. The man who fought sharks for two movies, uh -huh. probably three. I didn't see the third one. I, I see, don't think so he's I see, I mean, okay, he's not in now, but he, the man who fought stayed in that town, fought sharks bravely. All of a sudden, it's like, I can't take this shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> just the thought of a shark. <laughs> I mean, Jabberjaw came on TV. <laughs> if that's the case, if the shark, let's, 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 let's just think about this. If this shark has it out for this family, if this shark had it out for Sean, how did Sean get out there? And you already said it, man. That means that the shark set this up as a trap. The shark is the one that brought that wood out there. That log that we yep. see. He's the one that brought that log out there, man. He's on the phone with the secretary. Shit, I was about to say. <laughs> I was... <laughs> You, 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 took, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was about to say he's the one that he was the one that made the call. Good night, Polly. How many police department? Hello, I want to report. <coughs> I want to report a piece of log out in the bay real quick, please. Who am I? Yes, I am not a shark. <laughs> Just a concerned citizen. Thank you. Concerned citizen. <laughs> <laughs> my man's got a he's got a lot of family to choose from with these Brodies. If it's that personal, he's gonna he's got he's gonna be busy for a while because there's a lot of Brodies now to choose from. We already knocked out one, you know. Uh, Jaws Jr. already got a list cross Sean out. Now he's got the rest of the family to come in and uh, take care of. And uh, as far as the rest of the family, we start to meet them. You know, we uh, we meet Michael's my, uh, the Sean's brother. We meet Michael's daughter, who we learned about earlier when they had that phone call and a long piece of exposition where grandma sits down and just, and just reads off all of her stats to the audience. I know it's Thea Brody. How many grandkids do I have? I know you can use the phone by yourself. You're a big girl. Years old. Hiya, kiddo. How you doing? No, is that Uncle Sean? Shit. Oh, yeah. shit. Click. <laughs> yeah, he, you're Hello? Right, you're right in my ear with yeah. that. Yeah, gotta go, grandma. Hey, kiddo. Hello? Hey, Thea. <laughs> but... So right now, I like the way they laid that out because we don't have a whole lot of time to think about it. We got a granddaughter. She's five years old. Five years old. <laughs> yeah. We know she's going to be cute as So tragedy, uh, tragic story behind that girl, oh, too. No, no kidding. Uh, really? But I tell you, man, 
uh, when that girl shows up, and this is how I know nobody likes Uncle Sean, because she could care less about Uncle Sean when she <laughs> gets there. Fuck. She don't care, she don't give a shit about Uncle <laughs> Sean at all, man. Ain't talking about Uncle Sean at all. Oh, you're gonna spoil her. That's what grandma's are for. Yeah, grandma keep her full of that yeah, sugar. Yeah, she, yeah, goes yeah. Ask, she goes <laughs> asking for toys. She goes asking for candy. She ain't asking about Uncle Sean at all. And the one time that she did mention Uncle Sean, she said in a way that I almost sounded happy about it. Uncle Sean is dead, you know. <laughs> so let's celebrate. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so we can party on him no more. Yeah, <laughs> Uncle Sean's dead, you know. It wasn't like Uncle Sean is dead. She's like, oh, Sean dead, you know. Everybody happy? And then was like, Uncle Sean's dead, you know. So now we can all have normal conversations and talk <laughs> for openly and freely and, yeah. and exchange ideas. And mom is so traumatized. Ellen Brody, she's so traumatized that she just. She just, she can't even stand water now. She said, the hell with sharks. I don't even like water. I hate water. I want you to get out of the water. What? You're like, I'm at a dinner table right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not anywhere near water at the moment. <laughs> he's so incredulous. He yeah. can't believe what, what his mama's yeah. saying. Like every time yeah, she what? says something, like, what? Cause, yeah. cause he, he's clear at that point. He's like, all right, my mom's kind of losing it over Sean's death. Right, right. Yeah. I, I got to just give her some leeway. Yeah. But. This is getting out of hand. Right, right sure, now. sure, like, sure. Yeah, I'm not anywhere near water. What the hell are you talking about? I want you to give up that terrible job. Come on, Mom. You can't be serious. Damn right I'm serious. I'm just getting started. We just got our first grant last I don't want you anywhere near the water. Mom. By the way. What's his job? He, he's, he's, a, he's an almost PhD major. Like, he doesn't have a PhD. He's, a, he's studying snails. Okay. They got this pro. They got this, uh, this grant to, like, tag and study snails, okay. which... He doesn't have, they, he says, if I don't get these 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 snail taggings done, I won't get my PhD. It's like, shouldn't you already have that shit? <laughs> Him and his partner. Well, I, say, I don't it's tag it's all job. these snails. Yeah, it's like, a, well, they got they got a grant to do it. By the way, they've already ran out of money tagging the snails. They're just underwater, just putting putting labels on snails, man. That's it. I don't tag these snails. I can't yeah. get my PhD. That's what these moms should be like. What? <laughs> He's like, that would be a better wait. argument than I don't want you in the water. Yeah. Oh yeah, when you mean this thing I've been studying for <laughs> all this time, my job. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. He's a tagging snails. Tagging snails with his almost PhD. He don't. He don't. He's like, if I don't do this, I ain't gonna, if I don't get these snails, I ain't gonna get my PhD. We said about that. We said about that for you bullshit because you should already have your PhD. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gonna get it nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Stay out the water. Yeah, I ain't gonna, it's not like it's a, G, like a GD. Man, if I, don't, if I don't get these snails, I ain't gonna graduate. It's like, first of all, you ain't got a PhD. You out here doing this shit anyway, and you got no money. What is this study all about? They got nothing. They already said, man, we ran through all our money, which is why you start freaking out about something else big that happens, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But that's stupid, man. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, mom really hates water at this point, as you heard. She's like, I don't even want you to do that job. I don't want you going nowhere near water. Put that water uh, down. Put that water down. So they figured that it would be nice to get mom somewhere where she can forget completely water and get that out of her mind. And that place is the Bahamas. What the? <laughs> oh, yeah, I always wanted to ride one of those. No way. She's like, She's these like, said they were taking me to Kansas. <laughs> she said they were taking me to Kansas. What the? Yeah, like, like, how about Arizona? It's clear that I did not want to be around water. Hey, like, Mom, look at all the water. I, I hate these people. Yeah. <laughs> I clearly told them I don't want to go anywhere near water. Now they said they're taking me to the Bahamas. And actually making a point to show me that there's water. Hey, look, at, look down there. Water as far as you can see. As far as the eye can see. Nice, clear blue yeah. water. Hey, Grandma, look at the water. Check it out. Lean way over, too. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, Grandma, hey. Maybe She's it's like, immersion therapy. <laughs> you're, you're afraid of it, so we, right, right. we, we put you where you, you cannot escape water, <laughs> and you'll get used to it. <laughs> and then we meet, uh, we meet finally meet Michael Caine, who plays a pilot named Hoagie, who's not helping anybody's tension at, at all with what he's pulling. Oh. What makes the plane go up and down? Oh, that's easy. You go like this, and the houses get bigger. Hey, 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 hey. Man, when that plane landed, wouldn't you beat the shit out of him? Oh, Yo, yeah. I beat his ass. Hoagie got that charm, man. I know. You know? <laughs> He's Ho the best character. Hoagie, Hoagie could care less that Ellen just had her son murdered by a shark. He don't waste no, trying, no time trying to get to that ass, man. And oh damn! Yeah, and hey, and hey, you think you think 
You think I know you gonna say? Oh no, he wastes no time trying to get up in that ass. And you think that mama, you think mama Brody would be like, you know, Hoagie, you're a nice guy, but it's just not. Right it's just time. not. It's just not time right now. You know. But no, nah, she's down, man. She says, you know what? Sean's been dead for what forty eight hours. <laughs> And she says, you know what? Martin's been dead longer. Yeah. And yeah, Martin's been dead longer. You say, it's okay to get that penis right now. You know, it's it's what Sean would have wanted. What's it cost to take a ride on that plane? The water's coming in. Oh my God. <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> you were worse than y'all. You know? <laughs> I love it. That's why they just kick it with you. <laughs> oh my God. Thanks a lot, cock <laughs> <laughs> and we was right there too. Right, he was, it was. <laughs> and he was about because he was about to lay it down. Yeah. Smooth Which, line too. But that's Michael Caine. Yeah. Oh, Hoagie, he ain't gonna let he ain't gonna let that little Brad stop what he got to do, man. <laughs> Shit, he said my game is too strong. He's like, hey, hey, bitch, look, watch this. Watch, watch my back for your Hey, hey, little ho, look what I'm about to do to your grandmother right here. <clears throat> where was I? Water's coming in. Yeah. Depends on where you want to come. <laughs> oh yeah. damn! Oh, hey, he nah, he a picked beat. up right where he left <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's cute. yeah whatever. Because it looks like Jaws Jr. followed them all the way to the Bahamas. Now, how do we know? Because my man brought his calling card. Oh, that long. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, people. We, I'm not joking when he said he set that up. And really? And how do we, y'all, y'all are saying, man, that could be. That right there, man, that could be any, any piece log. of wood. Get it. No, because they made a point to show you that he put those those uh, shark teeth marks in that in that log right there early on in the movie. It's the same log, that's man. It's the same log, yeah. He wants them to know. Well, that's why they put a, a yeah. good old shot of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm back. That's Yep, that shark brought that log all the way from New England, man. You're right. He carries that log with him. He carries yeah. that log with Casey him needs all it. the it's way there. To let that was his calling card to let them know, hey, before you see me, you gonna know I'm here. <laughs> he brought that. He so he brought that that wood back. You thinking like, okay, he showed up. Did he get? Did you say did he get tipped off? How does he know that they are there? Okay, even before we ask, how did he know they were there? How the hell did he get there? They flew a plane. That shark got all the way from New England to the Bahamas in two hours and left that log there for them to find before they landed. <laughs> How he got there, I can't tell you. I don't know. Uh, what I can tell you is how he found them, <laughs> like you asked. Now, he, people, are you ready for this? <clears throat> Hear me out now, because here we go. Here's where the real crazy shit starts. How did he know that the family was there? <sighs> I feel embarrassed to say this. This is, not even, this is not even my movie. I had nothing to do with this production here. I didn't write shit on this. And I'm still, I still hesitate to say these words. But it turns out the shark was able to find them because the shark has a telepathic psychic connection to mom. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. The proof is right here. Oh yeah? How big? I feel a shark. Oh, I feel shark yeah, energy yeah. on me right now. And you that music too, that yeah. sound. That, 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 that psychic music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's like Obi-Wan when uh, Alderaan blew up. Yeah, it sure is. I feel, sar- I feel shark vibes. I, feel, I don't know what it is, but I feel shark energy going on. You think I'm playing? You think I'm reading into this? No. She's got a psychic connection with that shark. It's some X-Men shit going on or something. Like the moment she touches the water, she's like... He's here. <laughs> and you'll be Princess Dot, and we'll have a parade with horses. Invite Cinderella to the ball. You'll He's here. <laughs> she felt it. I know. Yeah. You think I'm bullshit? Like know. her and that shark got the shining, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not bullshit. They, they have a psychic connection going on. Man, that's why the shark is trying to kill the family because he's trying to get with mom. He's like, shit, we have we we got something. I love that every time. So Michael Caine keeps getting cop blocked by he got his biggest hand like, God damn. <laughs> Sharks here again. So, somebody said the sharking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got damn right, it makes no sense. Like I said, I didn't write it. I'm embarrassed to say it. But somebody wrote a movie with a shark. 
singling a family out with a vendetta to murder them one by one who's also psychic. From New England to the Caribbean. Who can teleport from New England? This mother worse than Michael Myers, man, or, or Jason Voorhees. You know what I'm saying? This shark is, 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 is serial killer level now. <laughs> I mean, at least Freddy Krueger could, you know, travel through your dreams and yeah. shit. This this is like, look, I'm going to take a lift at Albuquerque yeah. and then go over to the sandbar <laughs> and I'll be over there and then straight on to the Caribbean. Or I'm just going to clap my fans and I'm going to be in Bahamas before they even are. The shark should be wearing a goddamn hockey mask or a William Shatner mask or something at this point. Or a jetpack. Uh, je yeah. <laughs> he can swim really, really fast. <laughs> the only thing that is more unbelievable than that and people are like, really? What? Huh? Yes, people. The only thing that's more unbelievable than that is Mario Van oh, Peebles' shit. accent in this movie. Will you stop farting around? Michael! What the hell are you doing down there? Michael! What the hell are you doing down there? Farting around! Farting around! Michael! What the hell are you doing? Jake, stop busting my chops. Listen, you remember what they look like? Move your eyes, man! Mom. Oh my god. So, is this... Mario Van Peebles or is this Super Mario Van Peebles? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I know. Because <laughs> he was going with, he was, he was, he was doing a bunch of accidents. He was all he was. over the place. Yes. Well, uh, they let him write his own dialogue. Mario <laughs> Van Peebles plays Jake, his uh, his assistant, who's also, I guess, trying to get his PhD going out there tagging snails. <laughs> Man, Michael is tricking Jake. <laughs> like, yeah, you do this with me, and you can have a PhD <laughs> too. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. But but I've never, <laughs> I've never been to college. I know, but they'll just give them to you. They'll just you, give you a PhD. <laughs> I never a boomer clutch. I never been to college, man. <laughs> I'll be the first in my family, man. I'll be the first in my family. And all I have to do is catch the tag the snails, man. Really? That's Stop it. bossing around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I tag the snails. I tag the snails. <laughs> get my diploma. Under the sea. Under the sea. I will not fail. I tag the snails. Under the sea. Unless you. <laughs> Michael just lost his brother. His brother was his brother was the 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 target of a of a shark assassination, and and so he comes out. And he's another person. Jake's another person that could give a shit less about Sean or Michael or anybody's <laughs> problems. You go away. You leave me high and dry. Do all the work by myself. You come back acting like a zombie. It's Christmas Eve. We're working overtime because of you. He's like, you know, my brother just got murdered by a shark. <laughs> you understand that, right? He's also like, I'm sorry, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, yeah, boy, you ain't shit. never lied with that accent going in now. Go ahead, yeah, my yeah, Lynn Winfield ain't no better. <laughs> so there's a there's a moment here where I thought, oh shit, because uh, early on in the movie, Mom, Ellen Brody, who's scared of water, she decides to actually go out in the water, and they. Tear her ass up, man. That shark finds her and they kill her early on in the movie, man. Shark tears that ass up. You <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dream sequence. Oh, give me you. You cheaters. Hey, man, you didn't even see her actually getting bitten. You just saw legs flashing. And but boy, they showed her, they set it up when you saw, they showed her oh, face. Oh, I know. And they showed her getting the water. And then they showed, you know, all this right here. <laughs> and I thought, damn, that was bold. <laughs> all right, you know, if this movie has nothing else, it did that. And then they pulled that shit right there. And I was like, man, get the hell out of here. Right, right. Cheating. And it's the same editing as, as when yep. her son gets eaten. I mean. Yeah. No, no. That I, one looked actually more like she was getting eaten than the, in his I, death scene. I'm convinced that the, the editing is choppy and there's not that much death <clears throat> because they just couldn't get past how fake the shark looks. Uh, yeah. They, they, the, the, the shark that Batman sprayed with, bat, with shark <laughs> repellent looks more realistic. <laughs> yeah, this is this this is stupid. Y'all, I was. Right I was shark. I was uh, yeah, I was pissed because I thought you know yeah the editing's bad, you know the, 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 there's not been a lot going on. This has been dumb as hell. But at least they 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 killed what I thought was a major character. <laughs> if anything, it just set up how much that shark got in her head, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> shark giving her <a> nightmare. <laughs> oh, I'm shit. coming for you. She's like, "Where's my mom grass at?" <laughs> or dad grass, if you so will. Which they make mom and dad grass at this point because nobody's sexist here today. You know, they, are, they don't. And plus, nobody wants to get canceled or sued over here. But people, I want to go in 
and share with you a quick word from our sponsor. I want to thank Dad Grass for sponsoring this part of the show here. And the reason why I want to talk about Dad Grass is because <clears throat> we've talked about we've talked about edibles here on the show before. Sure. And the thing now, before anybody messes with us about this, talking about, oh, y'all, y'all out there dealing drugs and oh, you doing you know, you being you getting shady now with these, these these products. No, people, stop, stop, stop being uptight. YouTube, do not mess with us about this. Dagrass is 100 percent legal smokable hemp. And it's just meant to just relax your mind, help you mellow out. Low in THC, but high in that C B D, which means you just get to sit back. And enjoy it all. Get enjoy that feeling with a clear head. Cause you know, I told you before, I can't handle anything strong out there. I'll be sitting up there looking goofy as hell. <clears throat> or I'll be asleep. I will not be good company either way. You either want to understand what I'm talking about, or I won't be listening to you anyway, because I'll be knocked out. But I've tried several dad grass and mom grass products over here. And uh they've been very nice. And they do have a lot of products at this point. They even got treats for your dog, man. They got C B D dog <clears throat> treats. So you can sit up there and enjoy the feeling with your best friend. And all dad grass products, no matter whether you're getting the gummies, the tinctures, which is another thing that I would take every now and then. That's where you take the little dab and from the bottle and put it under your tongue. A little dab will do you. A little dab will do you good, man. You know, all their products are federally legal for ages 18 and over, and it ships right to your door. Go to dadgrass.com slash toasted and get 20% off your first order. Uh, that puts you in a good mood, and I'll put yourself in a better mood. Go get some of that dad grass over there. I'm mom grass. And get some for Sparky, too. A little old Sparky. <laughs> Sparky. Yeah. He wants to feel good, too. I want to thank dad grass for sponsoring this portion of the show. And, of course, I want to thank all of you out there for your support. Thank you. Uh, as I said, man, most of this movie is just filler. Uh, they just, <clears throat> after they get uh, to a certain point, they start doing things that have nothing to do with this shark at all. Nothing. Most of the movie is filled with uh, <clears throat> Michael Caine as Hoagie just trying to Michael's mom. <laughs> usually just telling bad jokes. I said to him, where's your disinfectant? He said, I've left it in town. So I said, what are we going to... Can, can we tell this joke inside? <laughs> <You're not laughs> <right. laughs> look, I mean, the house is right there. Yeah, what you're saying is not that yeah. captivating. Oh, no. So he says... I'll tell you what we'll do. Come back at lunchtime. All the flies will be in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, and I like, I love Michael. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kill that. <laughs> Michael's outside just stalking. Just, yeah. look, just looking at, the, at, uh, at Michael Caine, a, a hoagie trying to push up on his mom. <laughs> and that's the other part of the movie right here, man. <laughs> So creepy. Yeah. You can't put a shirt on a stock. You gotta take your shirt off to look at it all weird. Now, I hope you're wearing pants right now. <laughs> Grown ass man, mad because his because his mama got a boyfriend. And we knock off that stupid drumming. Hard, boy. Watch it. Watch boy, it. Boy, look at you, man. Get black and tickling sunshine. What's wrong with you anyway, Pop? You think because you you've been in the university now you're smiling? Watch it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other just just hate, man. But that you know, but no, you know, that's that's not important, man. You know. The, the whole shark thing, because he's over here. <laughs> he's over here worried about his mama. He's over here worried about his mama dating the guy. Meanwhile, you just got attacked by a great white shark. Oh yeah? How big? <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> this big. This big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, this shark who is taking out your family, that's what you're not worried about. You're worried about your mama having a boyfriend. You're worried about your grown ass mama. Your grown ass worried about your yeah, grown yeah, ass yeah. mom. Your grown ass worried about your grown ass mom out here doing what she got to do. And it's funny too because, I mean, he's, he's she's childish with this. He's like, I ain't worried about this shark. I'm trying to protect my mom from this wolf. And she, <laughs> and he, he just straight up just starts cock blocking. Like whenever, like whenever Hoagie's around, he starts making his move. Oh, oh, Michael's there to get up and just get in the way. Mind if I cut in? Yeah, yeah, gotta get, do. Get your grown ass away from me. <laughs> the world would be a better place if more sons danced with their mothers. You're not gonna beat Michael Caine. No. <laughs> Michael Caine gonna be around the corner. You, he's like, you gotta go home at some point. 
You got to go to sleep at some time. Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> Him and that shark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while they're not focusing on the shark, the shark is having all kinds of time to plan and set up traps. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ain't you ain't gonna beat Michael Kane. You should you should be worried about this shark because Michael Kane gonna get his. He, he's too smooth. He's too yep. charismatic. You're not gonna beat Michael Kane. You sure you don't need glasses? I'm a pilot. My vision is perfect. Yeah. yeah, you tell you quick. that your boy tastes that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just so you know, when you kiss your mom, what you taste the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let them know that old, old Hoagie was here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Man, this movie, it's almost like halfway through, they say, yeah, they, they've been looking at what they, they've been doing. They know what they've been doing. They're like, man, we got nothing. We don't have, we ain't, we ain't got, and we definitely ain't got nothing on that, uh, on that original. And so they just start, it's one thing to take clips from the original and put it in as, as flashbacks, oh. but they straight up, this is a sequel that rips off its previous movie. There's a scene, if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. They, they, there's a scene in Jaws very fam very famous scene. And this is what the movie is known for. The movie is known for, if you look at Jaws, Jaws is known for the shark, but notice you, ne you hardly ever see the shark. Uh, Jaws is known for just a lot of good character, mm -hmm. a lot of great writing. And there's a classic scene in there where Roy Scheider is uh, having a moment with, with his son. I, I think this was even improvised, where his son is mimicking everything that his dad is doing because his dad is sitting up there stressed out about this whole shark eating people in town <laughs> situation. He's like, what the f are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> are you mocking me? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm stressed he's enough. Like, he's like, look, why don't you take your little ass to bed? <laughs> right. You think this What's is up? funny? Yeah. You know there's shark eating people around town, right? And you got jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great scene, though. It is. A yeah, it was, it's one of the scenes that, like, I think they they did it the last minute. I've read something I, about that. I think that. it was improvised. Like, you improvised or something. Doing it. Yeah. <laughs> It might Spielberg be it wanted. might be an urban myth, but Steven Spielberg was like, "Cut the camera back on and get this." While they while they were doing that, so it's kind of improvised in a way. Either way it goes, it was a, it's a legendary scene, right? Uh, and since this movie said, "Well, since we ain't got shit, let's, <laughs> let's just go ahead and take it." She's like, "They why are they doing this?" Yeah, you know? Oh, this again? <laughs> yeah, I've seen this already. <laughs> Little girls go. And, yeah, and by the way, this is not because they're gonna come back. Well, it's homage. No, you straight up jacked that shit. You that was that off. homage. You ripped that off completely, um, for real. I mean, yeah, they finally start because you're saying, man, it's been a significant uh, lack of shark in this movie for <laughs> in this a shark movie. For, in a shark movie for a shark that can do as much as this shark is doing, we haven't seen a whole lot of shark. Keep in mind, again, the original Jaws hardly showed you any shark. Shark named Bruce. They hardly showed you that, mainly because of shark malfunction. Right, it was which, never working. Right. Yeah, which is, it ended up being the biggest asset to that movie because uh, it scared people. Because people put, you know, they 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 filled in a lot with their imagination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the shark, to be honest with you, probably looked like shit. Well, that's what Steven Spielberg said. He's yeah. like, I'm glad we didn't use it because it looked fake in the month. Looked like shit. <laughs> yeah. This movie said that ain't gonna stop us. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. That looked like, that damn shot like a Mardi Gras flow. Yeah, it did. Yo, so yeah, oh my God, you're right. It did. It did look like, yeah, like a bunch of people under it. Yeah, it's like, huh, paper machine yeah. underwater. You got that to work. Yeah, yeah wow. <laughs> that That's shark is so pitiful. It's, it even makes, it makes it makes it makes painful noises. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's in so much pain, it's just sad. It just makes sad noises. Listen to it. Kill me. Right, yeah. it shouldn't exist. That damn, <laughs> I'm an abomination. That damn shark is so pitiful. It's just in pain and just making noises, painful noises. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It is funny because the shark, the shark sw swims like it's talking about Mardi Gras. Shark swims like it's been there. Shark swims like it's just drunk. <laughs> it just always flicked it and on its side. Like the shark never swims uh -huh. in a straight line. The shark has always got that lean. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! There you go. <laughs> I can't get the balance on. 
<laughs> oh shit! He, he starts drunk and shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. No, that's oh. too much. <laughs> man, these buttons ain't working, man. Uh, man, uh, you, you work the controls then. <laughs> and look so bad, they just say the hell with it, man. Sometimes they just they just let the shark just sit there and just float in some scenes. Oh, <laughs> oh, <man>. uh, uh, <laughs> that looks like a dead fish in the water. It sure does. does. It looks like when your fish died in the, in, yeah. in the, in the fish bowl. He's yeah. just about to turn upside down. Yeah, huh? yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, so th this is the reason why they don't have a lot of death in the movie. The reason why is because the shark is targeting this family. So that means, and, and we ain't gonna kill this family. So that means the shark doesn't have a lot of people to kill. But they did, they, they, the movie, and I, you know, in the movie, they, they, like when I tell you there's a lack of shark death in here, that shark eats more vehicles than he eats people. Sure, he developed, uh, developed a taste for it. Yeah. Yeah, he, he only eats people for murder. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, he don't eat it for nutrition or anything. He eats scrap metal for nutrition. Well, you know, by <clears throat> eating the metal, it, it feeds his, his own mechanical parts. <laughs> <laughs> shark eats a, shark eats a, uh, eats a boat. <laughs> Shark, shark just Chew after the styrofoam. After, after, yeah. yeah after on, he eats man. the boat, he goes on and eats a plane. The plane. Oh shit, they killed Michael Caine. Peter, this is Jaws of Revenge. If they didn't kill this bride right here, you know they didn't kill no. Michael Caine. Because they paid him way too much money. Yeah, he's, he's one of the main stars in the movie. Michael Caine, Michael Caine is, is, is fine. Hey, give me a hand here for the How the what? hell you do that, man? It wasn't easy, believe me. He no, no explanation. Yeah, he survived. Yeah. Don't ask how, just know. It wasn't easy. <laughs> he's like, he's like, it was clearly off screen, so don't ask me, all right? <laughs> The shark, the shark said, look, I might not look the best, and I'm not eating a lot of people, but God damn it, somebody, somebody got to get eaten. I've been going through this whole movie, ain't killed nothing but one but one dumbass. Y'all came here to see somebody die. Now, he goes to the, uh, he, he tracks him down. He says, you know what? Uh, ain't nobody else getting in this water but that little girl. But shit, I can't eat her. So he goes for the babysitter instead. Because <laughs> they ain't gonna kill a little girl, first of all, in this. And plus, she's a Brody, so... You know, if you, the next person in line, if you're behind her or if you're her babysitter or nanny or whatever, then you're the one that's got to go. <laughs> that woman's like, yeah, I'm the one yeah, getting yeah. eaten. What yeah. are you talking about? Nobody gave a shit about her. None. They, no. they were all about saving themselves or screaming for the little girl. And this is one of those movies where somebody sees the person they love being attacked <laughs> and they scream and they reach the hand out but they don't actually take one step nope. over towards them. Hey, ain't going no, no, yeah. no, 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 do something, do something. Someone do something. Someone besides me. Yeah, boy. And that shark was going to eat this. Was going to eat uh, uh, Michael's wife, but he's like, nah, that bitch overacts too much. <laughs> I'm like, nah, that's yeah, right. Right. she ain't gonna go down easy either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mom decides to go out and and and. and Take on the shark herself. Woman the shark. Enough is too much. Come and get me, you son of a bitch. Which is another reference to the original, but okay. Yeah. You you out there now what? She grabs a boat, goes out there and starts talking shit to the shark. Talking and, shit? Yeah, talking shit. You, get on the plane and you know the shark got a, a, a psychic link with you, so he knows what you're thinking. So you go out there in your boat to like take on this shark. Okay, now what? She had no plan. No she plan. Got, she got out there and didn't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> she got out there and then when the shark attacked you, like, oh, why is he doing this? Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I beg the differ. You said it happened in the original. It was cool when it happened in the original. That part was cool. Yeah, not, oh yeah. Not, yeah, not yeah, like I didn't this. say it was cool. I just yeah. said it happened. <laughs> that line was in the original. No, I didn't even say it was cool, but no. I just throw that out there. No. I don't want to wrong goddamn idea. No, not at all. Go out there. <laughs> Come get me. All right. What? Oh, shit, he's coming to get me. Oh, shit, he's coming to get me. Ah! <laughs> what, you about to take off your earrings and heels and start going yeah. at it? But when we finally do get a showdown with this shark, that's stupid, too. They start going into it with... Uh, they start trying to fight the shark with just the dumbest shark logic. 
No, it's gonna come to the plane. It's attracted to the electromagnetic impulse of the metal on it. Get the bloody hell out of here. Fuck That's exactly yeah, what yeah, I, yeah, said. Yeah, I yeah. said. Except mine was more like, get the Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When he spotted that, I was like, "Based on what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Based on the same science they have with a the shark can teleport and connect psychically with human beings." It's like at, at that point, that's when I knew, like that that whole research thing they're doing. It's nothing. It's, it's going not, nowhere. It's, it's, none of this. Human scheme. Yeah, they none have of no this. clue. It's yeah. like, oh, it's attracted to the, the electromagnetics of the, the plane. What? No. <laughs> no. It. It's attracted to the electromagnetics. Yeah. Of the <laughs> I, I don't need no PhD to understand that. That's stupid. That makes no sense. The shark was attracted to the ultramagnetic uh, uh, waves. No, there, there ain't no book about sharks out there that says that shit, okay? None. <laughs> then uh, Jake, Mario Van Peebles' uh, character, he had some device used for tracking the shark earlier. Just a tracking device. That comes out of nowhere. Yeah, that comes out of nowhere, but then later on, the goddamn device turns into an Apple Watch or a Fitbit because then it can start tracking. Jesus <laughs> this come, this, they didn't make this for this. The, 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 the device just ends up tracking the, the, the shark's health and fitness because it starts it starts reading his, his, uh, his heartbeat. Uh -oh. <laughs> what is that sound? That's the shark's heartbeat. No, what? That, that was not, that, it did not do that before. <laughs> Jake stopped. <laughs> That's the shark's heartbeat. You are you gonna help or not? No sense. You make sure at all. <laughs> it would have been great to have a scene where Hoagie looks at Michael and Michael looks back at him and goes, "No, no, don't, don't, don't believe don't, him. No. Let's, let's plan A. He, let's he, he thinks that. these things. It's it's fine. And you could, yeah. These two, these these are the dudes out there getting their PhDs. <laughs> Dumb asses. So you ain't gonna be surprised when uh, Jake gets that thing and gets eaten. One, cause, cause Jake is, is finally, it's just time for his black ass to die. Because right, yeah. he, he because, lasted too long as it is. Yeah, you lasted way too long, man. You and the two other brothers. Now it's time to go, you know. And, and, and you a dumb ass, man. So yeah, you really gotta go. Okay, let me just stop right here and also say that there are moments where the, this this shark can hardly swim in the water. You saw he was just can keep his balance, as Martin said, and was just all flicking and sideways. But when he gets when he gets on on, on top of water, boy, he's almost he's almost Jesus. He's Dr. J. He uh -huh. just, yeah, yeah. He's almost walking on water. I mean, he just the, he almost levitates when he comes out. Yeah. Damn, that shark looks fake. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, you don't care. Yeah. He like, hey, as long as it wasn't the chick yeah. I was trying to hit on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Michael loves Jake more than his wife. And the craziest <coughs> part, the craziest, the part. craziest part of this showdown is that now that that shark has had a nice dinner of fake Bahamian meat, <laughs> this shark guy, he's energized now. He's <laughs> feeling it was almost, it's almost like Popeye. Da -da 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 -da, that, <laughs> once he ate that brother, he came out the water roaring, roaring like a lion or T-Rex. <laughs> That <laughs> that was the oh sound God, effect so. used for the monster's dragon or dog under the stairs. <laughs> really? Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, orig it originated from a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Oh. That, that, that that damn shark is roaring like something at Jurassic Park. <laughs> that oh shark my God! Is roaring, Billy? Ro bellowing, roaring. roaring. Yeah, whoever the sound designer was, they were like, we need you to come up with a roar for the shark. Yeah. And he was like, what? that's stupid, what? I'm not doing yeah. that. Sharks don't roar. Yeah, they were like, we, we need it though. He's like, I'm not going to do that. So they just clipped that old sound effect from the, the, monsters. the monsters and stuck it on. For the, for the, for the dragon pet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah spot. So yeah, spot. On and, the and here's the real 100% absolute part of this movie. <laughs> They said if a shark can swim to the Bahamas from New England in two hours, if he can teleport there, if the shark can have a psychic connection with a human woman, if the shark can levitate above water, if the shark can sing aloud, 
every family member for murder systematically. If a shark can roar, then why not when a shark is stabbed, he explodes? Smile, you son of a bitch. So what the The shark didn't eat a bomb. They never mentioned that the shark had any explosives in him. The shark didn't, didn't drink a, 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 a container of gasoline or anything. No, the shark just got pierced and blew up okay, for no reason. Okay, because I just thought I missed reason. something. I was like, all right, did, did they say something about that, that thing that Jake shoved in his belly no. had a bomb? Yeah, that's what I was thinking no. for a second. No, no. There, was, there wasn't a stick of dynamite at the end of the thing that stabbed him. The device didn't have... The device had no explosive device explosive on it. Properties. No, the movie, and this is no bullshit, the movie said, you know what? Just stabbing them, that's boring. We gotta have something bigger. You gotta blow them up. Blow them up. It's but, it, but, but it doesn't make, it don't, we, this is movie business, right? People wanna be excited. They don't care about the how and then why. They just wanna just see it and blow his ass up. And what was it that stabbed him? why this shit is edited crazy uh -huh. because they went back and, and made him explode yeah shit there's even a point here if you look at it they don't even let me find that let me find the picture the shark doesn't even get stabbed in the spot that you see him getting stabbed in before <laughs> look at this right here oh they got him straight up in his heart oh, yeah. in the before it was on the side of the gill right right people look at this this shit is edited all kind of terrible smile you son of a bitch they stabbed in the side. Now look, mm. see? Yeah. Cut to <laughs> between the two. Yeah. One in the heart, one in the lung. One mm -hmm. in the heart, one in the lung. Hey, if a shark can explode, then why can't Mario Van Peoples come back? Michael, you got a minute! It's Jake! How is that possible? that this man came back. We saw him getting torn in half by that shark. No, you thought you saw him getting torn in half. What you actually saw was his obvious, his obvious double right here. Right, right, that's clearly a stuff. That is clearly a white dude right there. Yeah. That, is, that is not him. Huh. And I think you can even see the, I think, I think they meant for it to be the stick he was holding before he died, but I think that's the stick controlling the puppet right here. What, if you that? look at it. Yeah, I was wondering what that, that was. So is it, that's that stick maneuvering that puppet, man. Is, is that like so? Is they show that there's a flashback to show how he survived. No, no, no that's me. Oh, that's, when he, that's after that's he when, got oh, chomped oh, down. Yeah, yeah. When he got chomped. Yeah, yeah, he got. When he, he got pulled in the water. Yeah, that's clearly not yeah. him, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, this is very much not him. Uh, but yeah, you see it like okay, it's a double. But uh, it's like wow, they they finished him off. Okay, and then he just comes back like, hey guys. Everything's cool. Come help me. Like yeah. what? Focus group. That's I, out. I think they liked him so much that people said, "Oh, you shouldn't have killed him." They're like, "Oh, okay, we won't." <laughs> <laughs> he just brought him back. Yeah. Just, what, they and they did, did some reshoots. <laughs> yeah, they just did some reshoots, and they, yeah, he came back. And somebody said in the chat, so he came back and said, "Hey, one number to flesh room. Yeah, strap in." I mean, two two things they took out of it, of the movie. One, they were going to make Hoagie uh, a drug runner, also, but mm -hmm. then they were like, "Ah, maybe that's too much." Um, would have actually made it better. But no, uh, something that they had written originally <clears throat> and even shot, and then decided not to do, but it's in the novelization, is that the shark um, had been cursed with a voodoo. I read that, and they and took that, that out. Yeah. And, yeah. And, it yeah. was going to be voodoo. It, yeah. Voodoo was the explanation right. of why the shark was going after them personally. And had, I guess, the magic powers to get to the Bahamas. Yeah, well, they, they cut that out of the movie, though. And even if, that would have just made it silly. I, but they, I know. I know. But they said they, they kept it in a novelization. Because <laughs> even there was that scene with Michael and his mom, and he was like, oh, are yeah. you still talking that voodoo? That voodoo, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I read that today that they had... that. They, they were talking about voodoo and they took it out. But yeah, that that ain't no winning with this. No. <laughs> no. I was just like, That's, wow, you, you actually could have made this dumber. <laughs> yeah. You managed to. I like not the way to. you say, I'm going to make this more sense for you. Right? <laughs> and I was like, that don't make no more sense. That's crazy. <laughs> and you're right. There's somebody's like, somebody's like, there's no winning. Just, just leave it out. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, no, I, 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 I didn't mean it like, oh, well, once you hear this, all the pieces will fall together. <laughs> <laughs> the pieces just fell apart. Now it makes sense. Thanks yeah. a lot. It's crazy. Yeah.